Today, we'll be creating this trending microwave zoom transition inside the free version of the winter result. I will also be sharing project files in a community post, which will be available for the channel members only. So, if you are interested, you can get it for just 29 rupees. Alright, let's jump in. Okay, so here I am on the edit page and I have already added few clips. Now, the first thing we are going to do is add an adjustment click because we are going to create the transition inside that so that we can easily apply it on the rest of the clips. And to get the adjustment click, simply go to the top left section of the Vinci Resolve. Then here you will see this effects icon. Just click on it. Then go to this toolbox and inside of it you will see the effects. Simply click here and on the right side we have our adjustment clip. So just click and drag it to the timeline. Then place it in the beginning of our composition. Now I will just go to the end of my first clip. And at this point, simply select this adjustment clip. Then press Ctrl plus B to make a cut. Now select the right side of it. Then press backspace to delete it. And now you already know how to do. Simply press the playback head on top of it and open it in the fusion page. Okay, so on Sweden Fusion, you will have something like this. Now in order to create the transition, we will need transform node. So let's add it. Click on this media in on node and add a transform node to it. Now just go to the beginning of our composition and at this point simply go to the inspector and here you will see the size. Double click on this size box and change the value to something like 1.3. Now let me just click here to apply the changes and we'll have something like this. Now what we're going to do is add a keyframe for this size. Then we'll simply go to the end of our composition and add another keyframe. Now what we're going to do is simply go to the middle of our composition and at this point we'll go to the inspector and then double click on this size box and change the value to 1. Let me click here on to apply the changes and we'll have something like this. So if I go to frame 0 then double click here and play it you will see it'll have something like this. Now currently the transition is linear so we need to fix the curve. And to do this, we are going to use this spline editor. So simply go to the top right section of the Vinci Resolve and here you will see this spline tab icon. Just click to open it. Now let me go around here, then drag it down somewhere around this place. Then I will just select this size box, then go to the right side and click on this zoom to fit icon to view the keyframes. Now simply select the keyframes, then press S on your keyboard. Ok, now follow me. Take this top left handle and drag it downwards like this. Let's keep it somewhere around here. Now take this top right handle and drag it downwards like this as well. Uh, let's keep it around this place. Okay. Now we are going to take this bottom right handle and move it somewhere around here. Then we'll also take this bottom left handle and drag it around this place. Uh, let's keep it somewhere around here. Now if I go to frame 0, then double click here and play it you will see we'll have something like this and it's already looking pretty cool but we can make it even more better by animating the rotation so let's do this go to frame 0 once again then simply go to the inspector and here you will see the angle simply double click on this angle box and change the value to minus 15 then add a keyframe to it now go to the end of our composition then add another keyframe and now you know what to do we have to go to the middle of our composition and at this point we'll simply double click on this angle box and change the value to 0 let me click here on to apply these changes and we'll have something like this now let's also adjust the curve so let me deselect this size box then click on this zoom to fit icon now just select the keyframes and press S on your keyboard and we gotta do the same thing so I will take this bottom left handle and move it upwards like this. Then I will take this bottom right handle and move it upwards like this. Uh, let's keep it somewhere around here. Now let's do the same for the top handles. Click on this top right handle and drag it somewhere around here. Then take this top left handle and drag it somewhere around here. Okay, now let's go to frame 0, then double click here and play it. So it's looking something like this and I believe it's looking pretty cool. Now let's add the motion blur. So go to the inspector once again, then this time switch to the settings tab and at the bottom you will see the motion blur. Tick this box, then click on this quality slider and drag it all the way up. Now also click on this shutter angle slider and drag it all the way up as well. Now let's open it in the edit page. Now if I play it, you will see it's looking something like this with the motion blur. Now we just have to apply this adjustment clip on top of the other clips. So let's do this. To apply the adjustment clip, you just have to click on it, then press Alt and move it upwards to make a copy. Now select this copied clip and drag it on top of the second clip. Let's also drag it downwards like this. Now you see the second clip's duration is actually shorter than the first one. So we need to adjust the keyframes for this one. But before we do that, let me just click on the end of this adjustment clip and drag it to the left side until it fits properly with this second clip. Now let's place the playback head on top of it and open it in the fusion page. Alright, so in order to adjust the keyframes, we need to open the keyframes editor. So to do this, simply go to this top right section. First let me close this spline tab, then open the keyframes tab. 
Now if I go around here, then click on this zoom to fit icon, you will see we have our clips. Now in order to see the keyframes, simply go to the left side and here you will see the transform. Click on this mini arrow to expand it and you will see this wide vertical lines. These lines are our keyframes and we need to adjust the middle keyframe as well as the last keyframe. So let's do this. First let me go to the middle of this composition and at this point, I will simply select these two keyframes, then click on any of them and drag it where our playback head is. Now let's go to the end of our composition and at this point, simply Simply select this last two keyframes, then click on any of them and drag it where our playback head is. And that's all we needed to do. Now you can simply close this keyframes tab and open it in the edit page. Okay, so here I have already applied the transition on the third click. Now if I go to frame 0, then double click here and play it, you will see we have something like this. And I believe it's looking pretty cool. Now before I end this video, I wanna talk to my Pakistan viewers for a second. I actually have a friend there whose relatives are selling few ladies products online. Things like bags, bottles and few more. So if you are interested, you can check them out. I will drop the link to their Instagram profile in my video description. You just have to DM them for any products you want. And just to be clear, this is not a paid promotion. They just asked me to mention it in my videos. So yeah, make sure to check it out if you live in Pakistan. And that's all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel and make sure to watch my other videos. I will see you in the next one. Till then, see ya.